pulling off the perfect morph can sometimes be complicated depending on your logo or graphic. However, I'll show you how to easily morph literally anything in After Effects. Okay, so here we are with two different logos, and to get them to morph into each other, we first need to convert them into shape layers. If you're using vector graphics, you can just select the layer, then create, create shapes from vector layer, but if you're using a PNG or another type of image, you'll have to go to Layer, Auto Trace. This will trace your image and try to create a shape layer in the same shape. You can leave most of these options default, but the important one is Tolerance. You want this to be somewhere between 2 to 5 generally. I'm going to set it to 4, but for your image you might need to try different settings. I'm going to quickly repeat this process for the other image that I have, and now we have everything we need to morph one shape into another. If we highlight both layers and press the U key, we'll see that there's keyframes set for their mask path. The Apple logo has two paths because the logo has two separate parts, and the Google logo only has one because it's just one solid shape. You'll want to start with the logo that has more paths because it's easier to go from two shapes to one rather than the reverse. So now we'll create two new shape layers since we have a max of two mask paths. Then open each shape layer and go to Add, Path, and Add Stroke. Make sure you do this for both of the shape layers. Then we can copy the mask path of the first logo into one of the shape layers, copy the second shape path into the other shape layer, then increase the stroke width a bit on both layers, and now we have a recreated version of the logo. To animate the morph, all you need to do is copy the mask path of the second logo and paste it in as a keyframe on the path of both shape layers, and each shape will then animate itself morphing in to the shape of that path. Since we have two paths animating into the shape of one path, you can see that there's a doubling effect on the animation. One way that you can mitigate that is by taking one of the shapes and animating it to be a very small point and putting it into the corner of the logo it's morphing to, like this. Then what we'll do is highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor, pull both sides of the graph to the middle so that the morph happens quickly, and make sure that you enable motion blur on all of the layers. Now when it animates, you can see the shape just disappears into the corner like this. You can also create your own shape and morph into that as well. We can select the ellipse tool, create an ellipse like this, then open the shape layer, ellipse, right click on the path, and convert it to a bezier path. Copy that path, then create a new set of keyframes, paste the path of the new one into the one that we're animating, and edit the speed graph to pull it into the center just like the last animation we made. Now you can see our shape is morphing from one logo into another, then into the custom shape we made. Next up we'll look at how to morph between two solid color vector graphics. But first make sure you always produce amazing work in no time at all with our free templates, seamless transitions, and customizable motion graphics. All inside our custom Motion Duck extension, you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into your project and tailor them to fit your needs in seconds. So enhance your creative flow with countless assets linked below. Anything you get will be directly supporting this channel and we appreciate it so much. Here we have our two vector graphics and the first thing we'll do is right click one of them, select create, create shapes from vector layer, then do the same for our other vector graphic. Now we have two shape layers, highlight them both, double tap the U key to pull up all of their properties and start setting keyframes for all of the paths and colors on the object that has the most amount of shapes. Then all you need to do is copy the path and color of each shape on the object you're morphing into and paste it onto the keyframes for the original shape so that it animates from one shape and color into the next. Since our original object has four shapes and the one we're morphing into has three, we're just going to have two shapes on the original logo morph into the exact same shape on the second. Now we can make our keyframes easy ease, adjust the speed graph so that it's the max speed in the middle, set our layer to have motion blur, and now it will morph from one logo into the next. And that's how you do a morphing animation between different kinds of graphics easily in After Effects.